For cheap, reliable, ultimate team coins, check out UT Coin Traders. And if you want any MSP and PSN, check out G2A. Both links will be down below. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be going with a FIFA 15. Kind of like what I want to see improved more than what I actually want to see new. Because there's a lot of stuff within FIFA that I feel could be fixed from this year's FIFA, which is obviously FIFA 14. Now, this game, you're going to see, this guy had like three legends. I haven't actually edited the footage yet, but I know that's what it's going to be. I do get a little bit battered. I feel it's a little bit unfair, but it's just there for you guys to watch. And I'm just going to talk about the two or three things that I want to speak about in this video. And then if you guys want to leave any comments on stuff that you would like to see improved or changed and you want, you want me to speak about next time, then let me know and I'll get around to it. So to start with, I'm going to start with the biggest issue within FIFA 14, and that is servers. Ever since, like, I think Ultimate Team's ever been around, I would imagine, I'd never played it until, like, FIFA 12, but it's always had the issue of the servers, and it is ridiculous. If you do, if you don't know already, the servers constantly go down, there's constantly issues with it, there's disconnections from games, freezing, you know, all of this is server-related, I believe, anyway, and it, it just goes too far, they've taken it so far with it, and it, I think that's the main reason that people don't like FIFA, is because the connection is appalling. Now... I have an Xbox One, right? And I play on Xbox One. Now, you've spent how much on this console? I spent about 500 quid on this console to play FIFA. And at the end of the day, why can't they make it better for people who pay more for an Xbox One? People who pay for an Xbox One deserve to have a better experience. We've paid so much money into our consoles to play a better game. And to be honest with you, it isn't a whole lot better for how much money you actually put into it. So... That is the first thing. Servers need to be fixed as soon as possible. I know EA won't see this video, and even if they do, they won't change anything now because it is too late. But I just hope that they fixed it. Now, the second thing I want to go on to is an open beta. Now, I believe this is one of the things that needs to be in FIFA. It, there needs to be a beta. I'm talking not like a week before the game. I'm talking like two or three months back. So we're sort we're talking now, like June, July time. They should release an open beta. I know there's a closed beta on FIFA last year. They should release an open beta for FIFA 14 in June or July for a week or two. So, pe so people can play the game, all the game modes. It doesn't count when you get the real game. So if you start an ultimate team, you know, it doesn't count, whatever. Like the normal beta. But you can try out the game and you can report any issues. Because that would iron out so much bollocks within FIFA that it, they would have two or three months after the beta to fix it and to get it ready to be released and so many other games do it Battlefield always has a beta although Battle Battlefield 4 I don't think the beta really benefited the game because it is still broken at least they brought out a beta to get rid of some of the primary issues to start with and I think a beta for FIFA would be one of the best things ever moving on to the last topic for this video and that is coins everyone knows that coins are difficult to get Unless you're someone who buys coins. Now, I'm not saying don't buy coins. I mean, if you want to go and buy coins, check out my link in the description below at UT Coin Traders. But it is annoying that if you don't buy coins and you don't have the money to buy coins, you are very, very much at a disadvantage. I mean, you can see the team I'm using in this episode was actually a team that I made completely from match coins. I, I grinded to get that team. So it is possible, but it takes a lot. Now, what I want to do is, what I want to say even is something that Nepenthes said. If you don't know who Nepenthes is, he's one of my favorite FIFA YouTubers out there. And I'm not, I'm just going to use his idea. It's his idea, but I agree with it completely. And that is, after 100 games on FUT, doesn't include rage quitting or dashboarding or, you know, quitting at the start of games and stuff. All you have to do. Is finish the game for what every 100 games on your record that have been recorded and haven't been like through disconnections or anything like that, it counts towards a 100,000 coin match bonus. Now, what this would be is at the end of 100 games, you'd get a little pop up and it would be like, Congratulations, you've completed 100 games. Here's 100,000 coins to better your ultimate team. Now, you may be like, That is ridiculous, you know, 100k. Don't get me wrong, guys, that is a lot. But a lot of people won't actually play 100 games throughout the entirety of FIFA. I've played around 300, you know, but there's certain people like me and others who play between like 2 to 1,000 games, 500 to 1,000 games, etc, etc. And for them people, you know, obviously they're going to get a little bit more, but at the start of FIFA and until the market crash, which might not even happen next year, players are still expensive. For 100k, you honestly cannot get a lot. So it, I feel it would be balanced and fair as long as they would eliminate any kind of issues within it, like, you know, glitching it to get like 20 million coins obviously they'd have to really really work on that because that could be overpowered as anything and as i said if they had a beta they could introduce that into a beta and you know check that everything works and i think honestly the three things i've come out with are probably one of the, the three most important i think because people struggle for coins and they don't have money to buy them 
The servers suck, everyone can agree with me on that. And also, you know, a beta will benefit everyone. There's no disadvantage to having a beta. So that is my three little topics for this video. I'll be doing more of these FIFA 15 predictions. Stuff that I want to see, stuff that I want fixed. But if you guys have anything that you want me to talk about, or, you know, just comment your own opinions, and comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to my this channel and my second channel, which I do Minecraft over there pretty much every other day at the moment. And if you haven't already liked, liked the video, if we can hit five on this side, it'll be awesome. Don't forget to comment, and I will see you guys next time.